seriously, dude, what do I have to do? I've broken so many swords in your shin bones. Okay, you know what? How about this? I'm gonna give you the most colossal bag tagging you have ever experienced. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red. So as many of you guys remember, a couple of weeks ago, we had a big update to this game that introduced a new level, which was a lot of fun, you know, it's something we don't see all that often. But the really exciting part was that with it came hundreds of new items and characters and possibilities for people making stuff on the workshop. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of the best and weirdest stuff people have been making since then. We'll start things off with a level called the KFC, and I should probably mention that I don't really know how or if any of these new western assets are going to play into every one of these levels. I just kind of thought it'd be funny to start a fight in a KFC. And God knows I will if the lineups are as long as Disney World and people are not practicing adequate social distancing! Like, listen, I know you probably put bars on the countertops to stop me from doing something like this. But Freddie Mercury here has taken too long to place his order. Every time we go to a restaurant in this game, we find that they're serving people meat and not chicken meat or chicken meat in some cases. So I'm a little bit hesitant to look around, but I gotta say nothing seems out of the ordinary quite yet. Maybe they're holding fluffles in one of these fridges? No? Yeah, there is no open fridge button. I just kind of punch my problems until they go away. Uh, don't worry, Harlem Globetrotters. You're not my problem. I, I would never punch you guys. There are a lot of celebrities in here. <laughs> Strange. How many people are hanging from meat hooks back here? What the? Oh! Oh, it's an alleyway. Okay, well, that's incredibly uninviting. Uh... Hello, strange goth kid. What exactly are you guys doing back here other than wearing ties with no shirt? Wow, you look stupid. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. I think you guys are probably the dumbest looking mafia I've ever seen. I might take that back. Yeah, I'm gonna take that back now. Do you guys have a tie? Can I join? Maybe I can get into Club Beatdown, dress in all black, and then we can all go for KFC? Wouldn't that be just lovely, totally non-stabbing time? Okay, so, trouble in the alleyway, but KFC looks demolished. <laughs> you guys having a pleasant experience right now? This place is an absolute disaster. Sir, are you a manager here? I, I need to speak to a manager. What's your name? Scribble? All right then, Scribble. I don't really have a complaint. I just wanted to let you know that I found a spoon, which is pretty exciting. You know, we've never seen a spoon in Paint the Town Reds. I don't know if I can use it to scoop out a brain, but I'm sure gonna try. Eh, come on now. Work with me, spoon. This is a tough old spoon. Hey. I'm gonna consider that a success. Oh no, Harlem Globetrotters, come on. I said we were cool. I tried to tell them to practice adequate social distancing and they just didn't listen to me. Like, they don't realize that meaty little slaps are incredibly contagious. <laughs> Sir, stop, stop slapping. Ow, ow, okay, you wanna lose a hand too, bud? <laughs> there you go, how do you feel about that? I gotta say, this is one of the most relatable games I've ever played. Like, who hasn't had a bad day, gone down to KFC, and hit an employee on the back of the head with a shovel? We've all been there, okay? We all have bad days. What's important is how you grow from the experience. <laughs> like, what could you use to hit an employee that's bigger than a shovel? Maybe a stool? Oh, oh crap, I forgot about the punks. Right, they came in here. Uh, maybe we could try a little something like this? Everybody just sit down and, and bleed everywhere. It's a good thing KFC is red. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of how they change the sound in this game. But like now you can hear people yelling when they're fighting one another. When you stab someone, they, they kind of wince and, and grunt and... It's very different. It, it, it's much more... I shouldn't say realistic because it's not. It's just much more dynamic. It doesn't sound like it's raining anymore. All the little meaty slaps are kind of drowned out by all of the chaos. Or maybe we can get berserk. I feel like that would help quite a bit more than just pushing everybody over a little bit. I don't know why there was a microphone out in the alleyway. 
I also don't know why the Harlem Globetrotters hate me so much, but here, take an ashtray. Take a apple, a pool ball, it's hard to tell. There seems to be quite a bit of infighting among the shirtless tie gang, which is perfectly fine by me. I'm just gonna sneak on by, mind my own business, take an ax, and then I'm ready to go. There you go, that's how you hit someone with an ax. You don't poke them with it. You swing, you chomp. That's more like it. Uh, shovel, shovel, help, no. I can't survive anything right now. If somebody so much as tickles me, I'm gonna die. Why are they trying to hide in the outhouse? They're going for the bat, the spiked bat. You guys been using spiked bats to poop? Shame on you. You gotta watch my back because there's so freaking many of them. Okay, no, I do not want to be back here. I think they hit me so hard the game exploded. Well, I've managed to repair the KFC time-space continuum, and now that we have a rough lay of the land, you know, a general idea of what we're going to be facing off against, I'm thinking we might want to do some planning. Like, there is a guy back here getting beat up, right? Maybe if we help him, he'd be willing to help us? You go, I mean, uh, sorry about that, guys. Just a, a nervous twitch. I, I don't mean any aggression towards you. Uh oh, it's not Fluffles. I was kind of hoping he'd be naked, because then he would definitely help us. That's an interesting knife, though. Don't suppose your face would like to be introduced to this? Oh, 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 okay. I was not expecting him to pull a Taylor Swift to just shake it off. Go away. Everybody stay back. There's got to be more hair in here somewhere, right? Oh, here we go. A pickaxe. That'll do less than nothing. Okay, now we get it. I was gonna say, why is that I hit someone with a pickaxe and they just have no problem with it, but I hit someone with a sippy cup and they explode. It doesn't make any sense at all. I wonder if I can get in this club. It doesn't look like it. Here, have a drink. Throwing a cake at someone's ass just does not have that same level of impact. Okay, stabby nose, stabby nose, stabby nose. You guys were looking for piercings, right? What am I throwing now? I think that was a cigar. I can't even tell. There's so many little items now that are very decorative, but not very good at hurting people. Well, I couldn't get into the club, but I have somehow managed to hardcore parkour my way under the top of this poop shack. <laughs> now they can all stare up at me or swing at one another. I don't really need to worry about the fallout. I do kind of want to join in on the fun. It's kind of neat having your own little rage cage back here, but don't have anything going for me. Excuse me, could I maybe borrow that mace? Thank you very much. Now we're getting places. Ow, ow. Okay, I, re I regret, I regret, but I got berserk. Okay, let's go in here. Don't want to use it on you. You're only half alive. There's no... Oh, here we go. We need big groups of people. You gotta be able to melt some faces. Oh, God, it's in my eyes. His eyes are in my eyes. No. Oh, they changed this as well. It's so much meatier. Oh, that's the good stuff. I wish I could run. Oh, I can kind of run now. Sort of get around. That was awesome. I don't know why I didn't ask this earlier, but who's eating chicken with a spoon? Why is this here, sir? Is it just for paddling? Because I could definitely force feed some paddling to people. How do I have shockwave again already? Is the spoon just super powerful? Ow, ow, okay, that hurt. Um, tiny butter knife, go, ah, crap. <laughs> okay, the people of KFC are too powerful. I know it's not exactly a dirty alleyway behind KFC, but how about we try a level called Sunken Sanctuary? What the Christ is that? What, what are these things? We've never seen anything like this moving around and paint the town red. It's only ever been you idiots that's alive. I had better not have to fight that thing. Look at this place. What exactly are we doing here, fellow army bros? Came through the portal to smell their plants? I don't like the sounds of that. I missed the morning briefing, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption that we're not from around here. So I would assume the other army bros have built some kind of forward base of operations, and then we've got others investigating what looks like a sunken ship? Even though the whole city is technically sunken, right? Maybe we should go help them with this. I wasn't given a job, 
or I was and I wasn't listening. It's like I said, I don't really know if we're the bad guys or not. We don't exactly have kind, welcoming faces. We look much more like invaders. Did you guys all forget to take the straws out of your drinks or something like that? Why are half of you missing an eye? <laughs> Again, it really looks like we're the enemy. I'm gonna walk around with a friendship crossbow and try my best <laughs> not to piss off the giant floating locals. I'm getting some strong Avatar vibes from this place. From this whole scenario, actually, like, we're the ones who are here invading to take their unobtivian or whatever the hell it is. Are you really surprised that my only friend around here has tits? <laughs> because if you are, you clearly haven't been watching enough of my videos. Uh, I'm gonna assume you're a local. <gasps> Interesting. I think I might have been on the right track. Should I see what's... Oh, you're the big local. I'm not gonna rule out the possibility of the crying in the fetal position at their feet as part of their custom, but I do think we might be in a bit of trouble here. Should I go in? You're the guard, don't look at me. I'm gonna try to talk this out. Okay, hello, giant four-eyed king. Is he sensitive about his four eyes? I, I, I will take away. This non-believer now, and then you can just keep swinging around that colossal blue dong of yours. <laughs> I don't su- Woohoohoo. Now we're talking. Okay, down with the, the non-believers. <laughs> oh, come on, I was totally on your side. <laughs> and of course, your magic swords will be made of crackers. All right, back to the crossbow. Is everybody against me now? Have I lost all my friends? Oh, the king is stuck. <laughs> Please let me out. Oh, no, no, get away from my big titty friend. You sit down and, and you sit down and you out. Ah, oh, crap. This stupid crossbow takes a million years to reload. <laughs> Even though it seems to have infinite ammo. Okay, I can appreciate that. Don't worry, I'm coming to get you out of there. Just, just give me two, two seconds, two hot seconds. Hold on. Turns out it did not have infinite ammo, just a lot of ammo. Still makes for a good beating stick until it doesn't. Okay, listen, I'm really trying my best here, lady. I hit that guy and he sounded excited. He was like, woo! Please, please, no. Come on, same same team. Same, same team, guys, right? We're still on the same team? We're, we're, we're good? Yeah, we're good. Oh, crap. He's not on my team. Guys, there's a non-zero possibility that one of our own is currently being tortured and interrogated by some kind of giant blue lizard king. So maybe we could stop getting high on the local flora and fauna and help? No? Okay, I guess it's up to me as always. Hopefully my friend still has tits so I feel inclined to do anything. Oh, there's more. What if I just do a little... Interesting. Maybe we can find something to help the lizard people. Yeah, I'm one of you. <laughs> Let's be honest. If everybody's gonna fight me, then I'm on no one's side. I am just in this to win it. I'll be the last man standing. Perhaps with a woman by his side, or, or maybe not. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I want to say that my ally is randomized. Maybe we'll get lucky and get fluffles. I'd be perfectly fine with that. This is a big map. There's a whole lot going on here. Okay, so he may be king, but he's not the biggest. Sweet Jesus. Are you kidding me right now? You can lay your balls on the top of my head. Your species does have balls, right? They're not like eggs, something awkward like that. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> something tells me interrogating them about what's in their pants is probably not gonna make be any friends. Uh, probably nothing all too interesting over there. All right then, I guess we're gonna start this off as we usually do, kicking a random person to his death. <laughs> do you think I could maybe just let them fight it out? Yeah, okay, well, oh, come on, dude. Do you, do you really need to be like that? Just, no, I got you in both your eyes. Sit down, J Jesus Christ, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> is it the spores? The spores doing something weird to them? No, 
That guy clearly didn't get enough spores. Come on, please. I'm trying to watch the big guy get shin kicked by one of our tiny fellow warriors. Oh my god. I might as well be throwing toothpicks at them. This thing could not be any less lethal. This guy really did not need to wear upper body armor. He could have just worn plate mail boxers and he would have been perfectly invincible. Can you not? I'm trying to watch the fight. Why is this so hard for people to understand? I'm not the problem here. Go deal with the giant. Why do they keep coming with no weapons? I, I need a weapon. Or maybe I could just throw, okay, yeah, you got a weapon. Thank you very much. Here, catch. Wow, that helmet was better than I thought. Thank you. Okay, I think now is my time to strike. He's got weak leg bones. Just gotta sweep, sweep the leg, sweep the leg. Okay, not working. Seriously, dude, what do I have to do? I've broken so many swords in your shin bones. Okay, you know what? How about this? I'm gonna give you the most colossal bag tagging you have ever experienced. <laughs> Again, I don't care if you don't have a bag. You've been officially tagged. Is that his head? I think that was his head. <laughs> I was gonna say, all the pieces just kind of fell apart. Yeah, that was his weak spot. It's definitely easy to see where people have and haven't been fighting. I hear some more rustling going on around the king's quarters. Hopefully my friend is still alive. Oh, she is! She? Are you a she? Is it still a she? Hello? Oh, yeah! You're a little worse for wear. I can see your entire arm bone, but... It's fine. We, we can fix that up. We can still live happily ever after on the alien planet. Why is everybody so tall? Please just die. Come on. There we go. Now we're getting places. Got a weapon that actually does something for about two seconds. Thank you. We might actually be able to get out of this. Don't you start. What, what are you... I think her brain might have leaked out what was left of her ears. Where are we going now? Do you want me to go up here? Are there more people fighting up here? There's a lot of people fighting up here. And a gun. That makes my life way easier. Oh, why didn't I find this earlier? Maybe I can go shoot the king? Oh yeah, that, that, that's definitely on the menu as long as these guys actually die. What the, why are they, why, stay down. Wait, really need to double tap? Where are you? Oh, come on. I'm taking credit for the kill. All of the goobers investigating the ship have no idea what's happening over here. I, I wonder if I could hit one of them. Oh, I, oh, I definitely can. <gasps> Why is it point blank? Sometimes I don't even kill them. And then from this distance, they, they just <laughs> evaporated. He turned into a cloud. Okay, wait, 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 this, this is good. They're gonna line up on the bridge. I might be able to get a couple of uh, multi shots in. I don't have infinite ammo here. Maybe I won't need it. There's only five left. Does that count the two of us? Oh, he's alive. I got him. I got him. Oh, big guy. Big guy. Can I try to take him out at the center mass? No, don't. Don't hurt my girl. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. So, sorry about that. Splattered him all over her face. <laughs> two shots left. Three people. We can make this work. We just need to find them. They're probably just hide somewhere. Are they really a concern? Well, don't get mad at me. You don't know where they are. I'm trying my best as a swing. You want to swing? No? Just want to roam around. All right, I keep seeing vibrating, but I know that it's just the end result. Oh, you don't suppose it's those things, do you? Maybe they're alive? I think I heard it. Hard to tell. Oh, all right. Listen, I'm I'm going out through the portal. I'm I'm leaving. I'm I'm taking the portal out of here. Are you coming with me or not? Are you gonna hide under the stairs? All right, fine. Nuts to you, Mrs. I, I don't care anymore. Oh. Oh, you're kind of invincible. That's why you've survived this long. Okay, no, not interested. Unsubscribing from this entire <laughs> crazy futuristic situation. Just take your battle axes and shove them up your butt. Our final level for today is called Sway in Shallow, which I assume is a parody of Stay in Shadows.
which is one of the better see why why am I melting what what is happening right now what the heck why is everything swaying I've never seen something like this before okay uh interesting hello is there did I okay then uh my confusion has risen I would like an explanation since when did they put AKs in the Jesus Christ <laughs> the robots are here everyone is dancing all right then I guess we're just gonna holy crap I like this yep I could get used to having this more often Come on, guys, you don't need to be like that. You know I'm a huge fan of System of a Town. Okay, yeah, if you're just gonna pretend you're gonna be a bunch of posers about it, then I'm gonna question why the giant got back up. Weird. I gotta say, like this this wasn't really a level, let's be honest. This was more a, a strange, surreal experience of shooting pumpkins and robots and bird people and giants. But I could get used to playing stuff like this. This is the kind of stuff that I want to see more of in Paint the Town Red. There's, there's so many new things. Like the fact that they can sway the environment now. They can make like individual moving creatures that aren't people. They seem to have control over the size of people. We've got giants. We've seen some very small folks as well. It's all awesome. And then you add in stuff like the robots. It's just sheer creativity. Just a bunch of boxes added up. Now we've got even more high-powered weapons. Like there's so much that you could do in Paint the Town Red that... I really, really can't wait to see what else people make. <gasps> oh, it was an April Fool's thing. That makes significantly more sense now. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And it's like I said, the possibilities have been opened up to people making stuff on the workshop are just so big that I'm really looking forward to making more. I really do hope that people take advantage of all the weird new things that they can do and we see some really interesting levels so that I can make some really interesting videos. And if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and I'll return again soon to get KFC and beat up giant blue aliens. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.